Hey, this is Blake from the Gig Harbor Fly Shop, and today we are tying the Beadhead Bunny Leech on page 40 of the Hairline Fly Tying Material Kit book that comes with the kit. If you need materials, we do have a variant at the end with an olive color, so if you need materials, we have that uh, linked in the description below. Uh, but if you have your materials ready to go, let's get tying. Okay, we're gonna start with the Vivas 6 aught thread. I already have the bead on the hook here, and I'm just gonna make my thread wraps on the hook shank, working my way back. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is take my, just the plain rabbit strips. Now these are different than the cross cut strips. Uh, these are cut at an angle and these are straight. So uh, these are great for the tail. And then the cross cut is what we're gonna wrap on the body um, and so I just want to measure what my tail piece the length of my tail piece a lot of times I'll take the back of the tail that I'm going to be tying in and um, I usually just clean it up with a just a little triangle cut I think that'll be good right there. You want this tied in here right above that barb. If you tie the uh, the rabbit too far up on the shank, it'll it'll wrap underneath the uh, the hook when you're when you're fishing. So. Keep that thing a little bit further back. And I'm gonna take my cross cut. I'm gonna tie that in and move the thread back to the bead. And now I'm gonna make my make my wraps in the the hair on this lays, will lay back. Wrap it up to the bead. Now we're gonna take the crystal flash and we're just gonna tie a couple pieces of the crystal flash off the bottom of the hook. I'm gonna fold this over. I got a little bit of room right by that bead and it's not really one to set. I probably could have done one more wrap of that other rabbit. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take, I'm going to just take a little bit of this rabbit. Separate it out a little bit. And then I'm going to dub it on the, onto the thread. I'll just kind of throw a collar there and I'll keep that flash back as well. Quick half hitch and a whip finish. And then I'll just take the fly out of the, the vise and then I just need to cut my flash to length. There we go, there it's all, all set. Now let me show you a variant. I'm gonna use this 4.8 millimeter bead. So the 4.8 is, is also a 3 16 
on the size hook and I'm just going to change the color. I'm going to do a copper, copper one here. I probably would normally uh, change out my thread to maybe olive or something like that, but okay, here's a really cool olive variant color from Hairline and it's about length for the tail. Okay, I'm going to tighten that cross cut. I'm going to wrap my cross cut forward. Tie that off. Sometimes if you uh, if you end up with a little bit of an extra, I did this intentionally just so you can see it. If you end up with a little bit of extra hide, uh, what you can do is you can just take that and I'll just use my scissors. And because that bead is countersunk, you know, you can also use your bodkin too. But, and I'll just kind of push it into the back of the bead. Like that, and then makes that go away and cleans it up real nice. Okay, now I'm gonna take this Polar Flash and I really like this, this uh, stuff for different bait fish patterns and leeches. And I'm gonna tie this on the bottom. I'm going to dub in just a little bit of of that hair just to fill in the, the area around the, the bead. And then I'm gonna cut this to length. And uh, I don't want it to be as long as the tail, but just, just slightly short of it. There it is, there's my little olive bunny leech with some polar flash. I hope this video was helpful tying up these bunny leeches. If you need uh, some of those variant colors, uh, we got links in the description below. Make sure you subscribe to our channel so that uh, you get updated with all the new videos we have coming out. And we're gonna continue to do more videos for uh, the stuff that's in this book, but we got a ton of other stuff on YouTube as well. If you have questions, we really want to help new fly tires get started with time fly. So make sure you leave comments below and we'll be happy to answer any of those questions. Thanks.